from Magic Land Farms. Uh, today I would like to take you through our orchard again and uh, show you some of our uh, more uh, sweet eating apples. Uh, not necessarily all of them are super sweet, but the ones I do prefer to eat fresh. Um, these here are red gold. They are a cross of the red delicious gold and delicious. Um, they don't have the most flavor, but they're extremely sweet, and they're uh, mm, they're a unique apple. I don't know how much more of these are grown anymore, uh, just because of various other apples taking over. Well, once in a while you'll have well, the uh, redness from the skin come on into the apple. It's almost like a honey sweet. Not my favorite eating apple because I like a little more, a little more tartness. I like a sweet and tart apple. A little, a little more. And here are our gala. We actually grow three strains of gala. This one here is the original one, the, the first one that was developed. Uh, the other two, which would be Royal Gala and Grand Gala, uh, all of them, they taste all exactly the same. They might just have a slightly different red blush to them. Uh, this is a uh, apple that we used to call uh, Honey Rocks because when they're first picked off the tree, they're rock hard and they're extremely sweet. And a lot of people will recognize their, their um, honey-ish gala, their, their unique flavor. It is another uh, Red Delicious uh, hybrid. The, uh, another interesting note on the gala is that um, a lot of you may, may have known it has changed now, but Red Delicious used to be the most grown apple in the U.S. Uh, that has now been replaced by Gala. Gala is now the has the most acreage of all apples, and in my opinion, that's good because Gala is way better than a Red Delicious. And here are our Hawaii apples. Uh, they are very similar to the uh, Golden Delicious. Uh, they have a slightly different uh, flavor. Once in a while, you'll get a uh, apple that has a little bit of a pineapple hint to it, but they're fairly rare to get that. <clears throat> there are some of my customers that these are their go-to apple for fresh eating. Um, they're like the perfect size for them, the perfect texture, the perfect flavor, everything perfect about them. And there's a lot of customers that when I have them try it, they're just like, well, yeah, that's a good eating apple. Um, we're slowly propagating more of these since I only have a few trees. It's one of those kind of apples that you just can't get again. Um, Overall, it's just uh, another one of my unique apples that we keep keeps the farm interesting. And here are some, another one of our uh, unique or or just all around decent eating apples, uh, the Macoon. This one is uh, unique from all the other ones I've shown you is that its main uh, selling point is its unique flavor. It's a sweet uh, sweet and tart apple, but it has its own, I wouldn't say muskiness, but it's, it's, just, it's just a macoon. Uh, it's very hard for me to describe it because no other apple has that, uh, that certain flavor. My mother, this was her favorite apple to make applesauce out of because it still kept the uh, macoon flavor when you did so. <clears throat> uh, 
It has, um, it's a uh, Macintosh hybrid. I, once again, I forgot which one it's crossed with, but it has similar properties to a Macintosh, just different flavor. And here are some of my really rare apples. It's known as the Tolman Sweet. It might be one of the sweetest apples I grow. It was used to be prized a long time ago. A uh, long time ago. Uh, that uh, for its uh, capabilities of making a really good hard apple cider, since there's so much sugar in it, we're able to make a lot of alcohol out of it. Um, it has one of the more unique sweetnesses of all apples that I grow. The only thing is, this tree, I only have one tree of it, and uh, it's been having a hard life for the past decade or so. I may have enough to sell it down at the farm, I may not. I'm not too sure. Uh, as you can see, though, it does look a bit like a Golden Delicious, but... Um, uh, it will also once in a while form uh, um, dimples or so at the bottom rather than a smooth golden delicious. And yeah, it almost tastes like you have sugar in your mouth. <laughs> Actually, sugar with a little snow. It's kind of a unique flavor. We're here back at Magic Land Farms in our, uh, our stand that uh, we sell the apples from. We call it stand number two. And as you can see, this is how we sell them. We, uh, if you need just to try them, you can buy them by the pound. And we have also half peck uh, bags of them. And we have various varieties, the ones that I didn't even show in the video. Uh, we are still adding to the variety count here. I mean, we're going to probably be adding almost every day right now. And it's, it's actually daunting how many varieties we grow. The uh, other one I wanted to show you out in the field was the snow apple. Uh, one of the main reasons why I wasn't able to was because we kind of picked most of them already. This is a uh, very sweet Macintosh-like apple. It's an older one than Macintosh, and a lot of people think that it might be like the parent of the Macintosh. If you like Macintosh, this is probably gonna be your favorite apple because it's uh, even better texture, and the flavor is great, and the uh, sweetness is so good. It's also a uh, tender apple, so a lot of people like the Macintosh because it's tender. And this is going to be just like that. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope that you'll be able to uh, come down and try some of our apple varieties that we have this year. Bye.